I'm Kiki Kamanu. I'm a fashion designer. I am here to make men and women look more beautiful every day. I began my journey in a very different place from fashion. I began um, in project management in, in the corporate world and I've worked for KPMG, worked for the Harvard system, worked for Pricewaterhouse and a whole bunch of others and my journey from there to here, from a 9 to 5 a, a, a to a, 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 to a 24 7, it's it's, it's, been, it's been educational to say the least. I've learned so much about myself, uh, 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 so much about my clients, and, and, and I've learned so much that uh, fashion is more than just the clothes we put on. Um, uh, so we have the sales, we have the marketing, we have uh, uh, the production and the distribution. There's so many facets of that work together to make this work. And it's, it's, it's been a journey of love, to say the least. Um, it's had its ups and downs, but it's been a journey of love. We face lots of challenges daily, regardless of what we do. And, and when I decided to leave the corporate world, or to leave, uh, leave uh, corporate America, it, it actually was not a difficult decision. Um, I didn't have to labor over it at all. I, I, I knew that my time and and I'm wearing the suit and tie and all that. Yeah, I did wear ties sometimes. Um, that was done, and it, it really didn't matter what I was going to next. And I'm just so thankful that I was able to choose a career, a, a, a choose a lifestyle um, that that suited me best. It was a hobby, and I I was able to turn it into a successful business. Um, we. We are well represented in, in, in Europe, in the UK, in, in Toronto, in the US, online, um, here in, in, in West Africa as well, in, in Ghana, Accra, in, in um, Lagos, Nigeria, Lagos, Abuja, Port Harcourt. Um, and we grow all the time. We grow, we fail at times, we, we make mistakes, of course, and we get up and just keep on ticking. And, um, it's definitely been educational, and I, I I don't have I don't have any regrets yet. At my time as a, as a full time fashion designer, I've had several moments. Some I cherish, and some I'm sure I, I'd like to hide under the carpet. It's, but they've all helped me to become who I am and who the brand is. A moment that I can recall. Oh yes, a few years ago, I twice. I was able to to showcase my pieces during London Fashion Week, and this is something as, as I could have only dreamed of. And this was about a year and a half or two years after I'd started. And, and my pieces appeared in Vogue, uh, in British Vogue, in Tatla, and um, and and also in Essence magazine. And those were the absolute highlights. Really amazing. And as well, I. Uh, I do have one particular dress uh, that was called V Dress, which I showed at London Fashion Week and showed as well in Lagos, Nigeria. And it it just I've I've it's just not made sense. It's, it's uh, the reaction I, I I I got to that and still get to it from uh, from all different types of people, shapes, sizes, backgrounds. It's it's, it's really been it's 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 really been encouraging. And it's also another piece which is called the, the patriotic dress. It's the Lagos dress, the Abuja dress. It's a dress that um, it's, it allows people to, to, to show off where they're from or the parts of the world that are near and dear to them. And, um, and for Lagos, Nigeria, we have the Lagos dress and it has a heart in Lagos and, and bits and pieces and parts of Lagos that make it special to the wear and that we can't stop making. And, and I've made over, over three to 400 pieces in about three months. It doesn't make sense. And I've sold it all over the world from Australia to London, to the US, to South America. Now, the first time I showed my pieces on the runway, it was pretty interesting because I, I, I'd been a runway model from the age of 10. 
And so being on the runway for me, um, it was something as I, I was, I, I, uh, it was something I'd grown up with, something I was very comfortable with. Um, the lights, the camera, it was, it was, it was, it was all very invigorating. Now, take that, it, it was a very different feeling to see my pieces that I created on these beautiful models on the catwalk. And, and the first time, I believe, was the London Fashion Week. I believe. It's been a while, I have to think. And I was just in awe. And, as I recall watching the show uh, on a small screen from backstage and being like this. <laughs> These are my clothes. Is this really me? Am I here? And it was so phenomenal and so amazing. And I was just such a pinch myself. Um, and, and I recall being backstage at the time with my twin sister. And, and she and I were just looking at each other and saying, this is you. So that was a pretty exciting time. Yeah, but each show brings different experiences and different challenges backstage. And, and it's rarely ever a dull moment backstage because something always goes wrong, either a zip breaks or a heel breaks or whatever, but that's, the show must go on and it always does. Embarrassing moments, <laughs> I could write a chapter on that. Yes, I have <laughs> embarrassing moments in fashion, um, but I always cover them up. So I'm not going to say them because you probably won't know. And, and it's possible, uh, uh, there are some photographs where I, I've been photographed on the red carpet. And I've had an embarrassing moment, but no one knows because I've covered it up and we'll leave it there. Yeah, Lord. Uh, sure. In terms of a mentor, uh, when I started, for the, uh, the style and the fashion aspect, I did have a, uh, a very helpful chat with uh, Zizi Cardo, and she was so helpful. Um, and she encouraged me to just be you, do you, do what you need to do, um, which is very, very important. Um, and uh, in terms of the business aspect of, 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 of fashion, I spoke to my father, who has built several successful businesses. And he just sat me down several times and made sure I understood the business side of fashion, which is very different as, 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 as different from the glamorous side as, as that we see in magazines and on TV. Um, and so those two people, as, I mean there are others, but those two come to mind who were instrumental in, in setting me on the right path initially. Now, fashion is, is a very competitive industry. And for those who think that they have no competitors, I'm the best, you're so wrong. Because, as, 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 because every second, every day, someone new is coming up. So everybody is, is your competitor, whether it's the person that has a two bedroom, or, or, or that has like a two machine factory, as, as to, the, as, as, as to the more established designers, because you never know that that person on the corner of the road has two machines in a, in a container. He might get a grant or win some competition that, that takes him international in, in weeks. So everyone, as, as a competitor, it should always be kept healthy. And I have to stay ahead of the game or, or, or to be someone who is, 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 is recognized in fashion, I always have to have something new, something different. And, and sometimes I've noticed that sales are high one month and, and, and the marketing takes a dip or, or, or vice versa, but you always have to keep on producing and, and creating what you think the client will enjoy. And, and, and to help me with that, I always make sure I get feedback from clients. As, as, whether it's negative, and it is sometimes, or positive, take it in, imbibe it, use that uh, uh, to create um, your next pieces. And um, at, at the times even I stop strangers on the street and say, excuse me, sorry to bother you, but I'm a designer and I have a question about this. And, and I speak to them as to why uh, they selected uh, that particular piece uh, they're wearing, and that helps me to develop my craft, as you say. It's always been important for me to give back. I've been blessed with so much um, in terms of resources and opportunity to do what I enjoy doing, to do something that I, I would do for free. And so 
in return, uh, um, it was important that I established a mentorship program. So for those who have a keen, sharp, and serious interest in fashion, we do have a, we do have a mentorship program where we bring you on board. I we teach you different skills from the from the design aspect to the sales marketing aspect of fashion, and you come and you are with us um, for for uh, from nine to five literally, um, and, and you learn on the spot, and you don't just sit back and watch you. It's, 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 or you become a part of our team, as, 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 as an integral, uh, an integral part of our team. And these, um, these, these uh, programs are from three months to six months, as, as, as to twelve months, and uh, therefore um, the men and women of any age who have a serious, serious interest in fashion.